हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर तन्मय भंडारी एंड आई स्कोर्ड एन ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ 817 इन दिस इयर्स नीट पीजी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू गो ओवर पीवाईक्यूज एंड दिस इज अ न्यू फॉर्मेट आई एम ट्राइंग बेसिकली एंड इफ यू वांट मी टू शेयर माय एंटायर ब्लू प्रिंट इन दिस फॉर्मेट आई वुड लव टू यू नो डू दैट लाइक राइट नाउ आई आई बी मेकिंग दिस एंटायर वीडियो अबाउट पीवाईक्यूज एंड यू नो डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स अबाउट पीवाईक्यूज so like if you like this format i could make all of my videos in this format so without further ado let's start actually talking about pyqs and why you should use pyqs in the first place because history repeats itself and even though a lot of pyqs are not directly repeated the previous year topics are repeated and they are tested multiple times and the examiners who set newer papers also go through those pyqs before setting any new paper because they treat it as their question bank and even any kind of question bank that you go and solve is based on the pyqs and the pyts that you know the patterns that uh, apps or like you know question bank setters have seen and they try to give you more questions based on pyq so when pyqs are fundamental and the base i think pyqs must be done especially for those who are preparing for iicit i know iicit has very less seats but iicit happens twice a year and you know it is a very predictable and a pyq heavy paper earlier like people used to think that you know P- iicit is a difficult exam but uh, dr aditya gupta right here has actually like exposed and made us realize that iicit is all about pyq so even if you think that the questions are difficult sometimes um, they come they are based on pyts or pyqs so pyqs are very important in ini because the examiners and paper setters are kind of the same in ini but they could be different or they keep changing in neat is what i am assuming i don't know anything for sure i don't know how the neat or ini paper is set this is what i'm assuming but uh, ini ct pattern of paper is always almost the same focusing on first and second year subjects and uh, <laughs> yeah so one of my friends uh, who studied and who actually you know just did pyqs in the last 6 days before iicit got an all india rank of 200 and if you don't trust me uh, take it from the horse's mouth I, aditya gupta has done like ug pg and super speciality from aims delhi and uh, pyqs are extremely important because it's not just about ki i will be doing 2000 4000 pyqs and i don't know how many questions from these will be coming into the actual neat paper but it is more about you know when you do pyqs it helps you recognize patterns while studying so like for example uh, there are a lot of questions asked about ras proteins in ini or sirtuins so whenever you read that in your note notes or whenever you solve questions related to that in the future you will automatically realize how important it is because you've already seen it in pyqs pyqs are tools that help you develop your screening or basically your studying ability so that you screen the important information that is more important and more relevant with respect to the exams that you are giving so <laughs> you know, another thing that i would like to share is that people who get top 100 ranks do pyqs um and <laughs> uh so like if at all the paper is extremely eccentric and um, like atypical some this has never happened in the past 10 years 12 years but somehow if they do this this time like even the toppers who done pyqs will be affected from with that so i mean pyqs is the base and you cannot uh, you know ignore pyqs and it's not about getting maximum number of questions correct it is uh, about not making mistakes in the easy ones this is the quote that i've come up with because uh, exam ke baad you don't remember uh, that you know you got for example in this year iicit they had uh, this question on like dpdp which is data protection uh, because all of the medical data is being digitalized these days so people who had read all of the recent updates and all of that they could not get this question right but you know 
people don't regret even the toppers don't regret getting questions like these wrongs because even this year in INICT the AIR one had around 160 to 170 correct i don't know the exact number so you are allowed to make around 30 questions um, uh, 30 mistakes 30 to 40 mistakes actually so you can get one question wrong in every after every four questions correct so, I mean, it's not that hard and fast in NEET PG, like just analyzing the paper. Even I got All India Rank 817 in NEET PG and I got only 166 questions correct in an easy paper because um, sometimes the marking scheme varies and uh, you really regret not getting the easy questions right. Um, so that is uh, like, you know, how I would start uh, by, you know, telling you about PYQ. So... Now that I have kind of convinced you about how to use PYQs, um, I'm going to tell you how to solve PYQs and what systems to follow. So basically, PYQs should be done first, even before reading your notes. Uh, so PYQs, when you do PYQs, you're not actually solving questions per se, but you are understanding the pattern of the paper or what things the examiner wants, uh, what things does the examiner want to test from a particular topic, for example, if you are reading STIs or any other important topic, uh, if you go through PYQs first, you will understand that, you know, um, how many times they've asked kids, how many times they've asked syndromic management. And if you read BNS, you will understand that they used to ask IPC sections all the way up to 2020, 2021. But after 2021, they have really not asked uh, BNS sections after IPC turned into BNS. So, I mean, even if it is important, it has been asked, the trends are changing and it would not make a big difference if you had to skip the BNS sections because it, it becomes very difficult to read and memorize numbers. And most of the time, people spend at least one hour <laughs> the day before the exam memorizing BNS sections. So you can take risks like this once you understand the pattern of the paper. And while studying, also you uh, learn how to spot patterns. For example, um, they ask a lot of questions about immunohistochemical stains or like various stains in INICT, but uh, a lot of notes don't have that and they focus on other things. So basically, once you do PYQs, you need know what you want to focus on. So now that you know that, um, there are various ways that you can do PYQs. So Maro has this at the end of the QBank. Uh, they have all the previous year question papers um, in year-wise format, so subject. So they'll have anatomy first and then they'll have anatomy uh, of 2025, 2024, 2023, all the way up to 2017. They don't have anything before that. And INI happens twice a year. So they have um, like, uh, what do you say? Uh, like two sets of INI papers every single year. So how many PYQs are there in total? So if you just speak about Marrow, so 2017 onwards, if you consider 600 PYQs every single year, uh, 400 from INICT and 200 from NEET PG, um, 600 from, you know, 2017 onwards is what, um, 3 plus 5, 8, 8, 6, uh, 48. So 4,800 PYQs. Uh, so, but if you have very less time, you can go retro respectively or in a retrograde way. So you can solve 2025 first, 2024 second, or if you have slightly more time, you, when you're studying anatomy, you can do like three years of anatomy together. This is what even Zena Bora suggests and her BTR is PYT based. Like obviously she has not covered like extremely eccentric topics like sirtuins again. Like this is the example I keep um, sharing with uh, people. So like I think um, like one off questions that have been asked once or like they are just too out of the box or they are just one liner facts. Maybe she's ignored that in her BTR too. So that is why she also asks people to do things, um, do PYQs after reading BTR. Um, like if you have more than six months, I would definitely recommend you to do more than uh, 27, like 
PYQs after 2017. And uh, you can follow that by reflex. So you do PYQs first to understand the pattern and then you read notes. And this approach will actually help you screen the information and the questions that you get wrong or the questions that you can think are important or the description or the topic is important. You can easily add mini screenshots to your notes. So this is what I mean by mini screenshots. So you take a screenshot, Maro also allows screenshots and Reflex or any other app also allows screenshots in uh, their QBank, any question you consider. So this is what I'm saying. So you just take a screenshot of whatever you want and you paste it in a very, you know, small space. And whenever you're reading that topic, suppose like every single person who's got a top 20,000 rank has read BTR or any other source at least 20 times. So this will be your game changer, like having one single source and like adding all the information that you need in that single source. Aditya Gupta used first aid, uh, people use BTR these days because BTR is more like, you know, Indian entrance uh, focus. So you could use BTR as a skeleton like that. And after you're done with 2017 onwards PYQs, I would like to give a shout out to Reflex because Reflex has topic-wise <laughs> um, uh, topic wise PYQs. This video is not sponsored by Aditya Kupta or any other coaching platform for that matter. I'm going to be very transparent in my videos. I am not going to promote any coaching apps. Uh, <laughs> so it, that is that. So the biggest advantage of Reflex is that um, it it has PYQs topic wise. So if for example, you're studying general anatomy, you will do all the PYQs based on general anatomy and then go to your notes and then come back to the PYQs and see what questions are important and what, you know, you start building those connections. And uh, if you give yourself some time, eventually you learn how to build connections and your brain automatically filters what's important and what is not. And it automatically learns how to categorize things into important and non-important and uh, reflex also has good explanations um they are very crisp concise they he's not just dumped everything into one place he has the right diagrams and i personally believe that um like reflex is the most accurate pyq app uh, so for example there is this one question about median versus ulnar nerve like they've given two different diagrams one is like this one is like this so like in questions like that aditya gupta has you know, recorded voice notes on Reflex. So, um, like, uh, he has done that. Plus, Reflex is very cheap. So, before you buy any QBank, I would highly recommend you to do uh, Reflex. And for people who are extremely anxious and uh, extremely, uh, you know, skeptical about this uh, subject-wise or topic-wise approach and doing PYQs first, I would recommend you that um, you go to YouTube. The Maro has these free recall videos and you can easily watch recalls and take screenshots of the things that you find important and attach them to your notes because it's really important to, uh, you know, remind yourself what questions are being asked from particular topics and attach those screenshots in your notes in the micro format like I showed. Um, so you could do like 2020 onwards, Maro has these videos and uh, this is why I, I would not recommend any other platform is because all the other platforms record their recall videos immediately on the day of the exam. But Maro, you know, waits for the dust to settle and they play kind of, you know, in the long term. So uh, maybe they have more accurate questions. And after INICT, I actually saw that uh, I actually, you know, saw the recalls and uh, things were slightly inaccurate in the recall videos. But um, Maro also has this GT section where they have pe previous year papers. So if you want to do previous year papers, um, like, you know, three R papers, not like this question papers or in the question bank, but in the test section, Maro has... Uh, papers and you can solve them as well. They are slightly more accurate, even more accurate than the recalls. But again, in anatomy, I saw that Maro didn't use the right diagrams. They just want to frame the question in such a way that there is no controversy in the answer. But whereas reflex, you know, kind of 
puts the question exactly as it was asked in the exam even if you think like you know uh, the question is weird there is a bit of controversy but this is how the question was actually asked in the exam so uh, marrow makes questions based on the pyq maybe altering a thing or two in order to you know make the question factually correct but this is the difference between marrow and reflex i mean you do uh, pyq still 2017 first and then you do reflex but again the biggest uh, upside of reflex is that everything is topic wise but if you want to do topic wise as well you can make custom modules and select tags and uh, when you make custom modules uh, make a custom module of 200 questions so that you see all of the questions of that particular topic in one place and you don't have to make multiple custom modules and even in marrow like um the custom module algorithm is not random for example uh, suppose they have a bank of 20000 questions so every single time they won't pick up uh, if you say if you select say 40 questions every single time they won't pick 40 random questions they will uh, prioritize questions that you've got wrong before and the questions that you've not done before so this is how you know marrow also has an algorithm for um, uh, custom modules anyway i had done uh, the marrow cube and that is why you know i'm talking about marrow here but uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to be extremely transparent. Again, um, for those who've been following my Anki journey, uh, the next thing that I would like you to do is to, you know, <clears throat> if you down downloaded subject-wise decks and there is one PYQ deck as well. So, um, like, after reading your notes, so first you've gone through the PYQs, understood what is important for that particular subject then you've read the notes and you've added the screenshots of pyqs in your notes uh, the next thing that i want you to do is to uh, do pyqs um, like do anki for the pyqs so um, again i have added like the pyq decks um, out here so basically all india rank 54 has uh, PYQs up to NEET PG, uh, sorry, up to INI, uh, INI November um, of last year. Not uh, like he cracked INI May of last year. So he has all the PYQs before that. So you might have to add a few PYQs. So nothing is complete, but um, this is a good way to actually, you know, solve PYQs. It is slightly disorganized, but. Um, if you want, uh, you can organize it as well. Uh, plus, like uh, when I uploaded subject-wise decks, a lot of PYQs went into those subject-wise decks. So if you just want to solve PYQs, you go in the browser section of Anki and you select my PYQ and under my PYQ, uh, you will have uh, subject wise and if you select all of those cards, you can easily have it under one deck and change their deck. So this is what um, he has done. So for example, this is a card on Porphyria. So he has gone into extra details and, uh, you know, added mnemonics and added a table in order to remember the entire, um, you know, uh, heme synthesis pathway and all the Porphyrias, which of them and their inheritance. And he has also made mnemonics. So this is a big benefit of doing Anki. And again, I said he cracked INI uh, May 25. So uh, May 25 onwards, INI, it does not have questions. Um, and this is uh, like how um, heuristics. So basically the pattern recognition that I was talking about, there is a term for it called, called heuristics. So in the exam, you don't usually, usually use your brain to answer the question. The answer comes out of your subconscious mind and I'm going to make the next video about this exact thing. So please hit the subscribe button. Please like this video and leave a comment if you want the next video to be about the question bank and how to solve questions. Actually, I'm actually going to take previous year questions as examples on how to solve questions. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Please react. Please share this video with your study partner and leave likes and stuff because that would really boost the algorithm and help me, you know, be motivated to make more videos. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.